What's up everyone, welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 2 of our Alien Shooter or Space Invaders game on Scratch 3, so let's get coding. Just finished coding. Now quick interjection here, if you've not watched part 1 of this series, please watch it before you come here because we're picking up from where we left off and you'll be very lost. I'll leave a card for you right here. Please watch the video and then come right back. If you've watched part 1 of the series then you should have code which looks something like mine and while we do have some code in like the movement of the starfighter, things are still pretty bland and you know hitting the spacebar really doesn't do much. So in this video we will be finishing up with our starfighter sprite and also coding in a little bit of the bullet as well, of our, as, well as our zombies. Let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is to head down below to our, you know, main start game loop and here I'm going to make two new functions to be used at the end. The first one is going to be called um, next level and uh, the second one is going to be called, I think I'll call it animation or something. So next level and uh, I think you can run without screen refresh. Actually, no, don't run without screen refresh. Just click OK. Um, next level and I'll just drag that down below our uh, shoot or I'll just keep it here anyway. So I'll use the next level first or actually I'll use it second. I'll call in the other function before that. And here I'll be uh, calling in spaceship animation. So spaceship followed by animation. And this is what's going to make the starfighter fade away kind of. So I'm going to click OK uh, and I'll put the spaceship animation right here. All right. So now it's time to code in these two um, blocks. So I'll first be coding in spaceship animation. And here we just say um, uh, repeat 10 and we change the ghost effect by 10 each time. So this is going to make sure, you know, the spaceship changes, uh, fades out thoroughly. So change ghost effect by 10. And this is going to be a bit too fast. So what I'll do right here is to add in an additional time lag of let's just say 0.1 seconds. And uh, just this code isn't going to be enough because after we finish a level, which is when this code is going to execute, we will be showing like a repeat until, uh, you know, the next level or level complete kind of message. So to do that, I will be broadcasting a message here and I'm going to call it a new message. Follow that up with uh, by calling it show level complete. And that's what I'm going to call it. I thought my caps lock was on and I think it's off anyway. So show level complete. And there we go. Oops, I called it completer. And anyway, let's just call it that. So after this, it's time to get into our next level animation. And this is going to be probably the easiest of all. First, I'll be changing level by one which is kind of obvious we need to do that when we are going to the next level. And since we're going to, you know, change uh, or have this current level set back level here, uh, we don't have to do this within our next level. And all you can do is to just say a broadcast, um, initialize and wait and follow that up with a broadcast, start game and wait. And uh, here I'm going to add in an additional block of code, which is going to change the speed. So I'm going to say change speed by one so that every passing level our spaceship gets a little bit faster. And if you notice uh, from the code up here where we, you know, set, uh, you know, uh, when green flag is clicked, uh, you could set your score back to um, zero only here because if we had done it in the level, we would be going through again and again and we could only have uh, a different score for every single level, which is not what we want. And uh, these, two, uh, these two things will be set up within our, um, our next level function. So we don't have to do that in our begin function, but it's important to do that before we broadcast these two messages. So that's the general idea and that's going to be all of our spaceships code. And what I'm going to do now is to head over to the bullet sprite and begin coding it. All right, before that, actually, I'm going to head back to the starfighter and remove this block of code from, uh, oopsie, uh, and remove this block of code from next level. And we do not want to change the level by one. And the reason for this is level is already going to be changed by one as a result of which this repeat until is going to, you know, we're going to get out of this repeat until loop. And if we change level by one again, it's going to change level by two instead of one, which is not what we want. So for this um, code to actually execute, our level would have already needed to be changed by one and hence we do not need that. And now I'm going to head over to the bullet sprite and right after we receive initialize, I will set create loans to be yes. Uh, and I'll also not only hide the sprite, but I will also delete all the clones. So at the end of each level, this is what we'll basically do. So delete this clone and this is going to apply to every single clone we have. So it will delete all of them. 
Now we can start with the when I start as a clone block and this is going to happen whenever we press the space key and our bullet timer is uh, set up to basically the bullet can shoot. So in this case what I'll uh, be doing first is going to the back layer so that we're not seen in front of the starfighter so go to back layer and after this I will be going to the starfighter itself. So go to not random position but go to starfighter and this is going to go right to the center of the starfighter but we do not want it to go to the center we need to go to the top center and uh, the dimension is about 30 so I'm just going to say change y by 30 and uh, this is going to ensure that we go to this position right here. All right, and now I can show the stuff, I, uh, show the bullet. And uh, after this, we can enter into a repeat until loop once again. And as the condition, I'm gonna say repeat until touching followed by edge. So it's gonna repeat until we're touching edge. And here we're gonna change Y by 10. And uh, I'm gonna have a constant speed for the bullet so that we just uh, have less code to work with. Now I'll be making the zombie sprite because we'll have to check some collisions after this. So it's gonna be simpler just to initialize that now. So I'm going to click on upload sprite within choose a sprite and uh, within my files I'm going to click on zombies and like I mentioned all the files will be linked in the Google Drive attachment which is in turn linked below and oops I didn't want to upload the sprites that way uh, just upload one of the sprites right there and within the costumes you can click on upload uh, costume and then choose the remaining two costumes. Alright so this I'm going to rename it to be zombies and um, yep that is pretty much it. So now I'm going to head back to the bullet sprite and say uh, if touching zombies then uh, so if touching zombies oopsie if touching zombies then what we will need to do is first broadcast a message which is going to be called destroy zombie and rather than just changing the uh, score by one I'll first do this so that the zombie is destroyed and then we can change our score delete the bullet clone and all of that and we don't move this particular bullet clone at all so destroy zombie all right and um, despite all of this, you still might get some bugs with uh, your Scratch 3 editor. And that is probably uh, because Scratch 3 has some inefficiencies itself. Um, for some reason though, changing this Y by, you know, as you reduce the speed, the error goes down as well. But it still happens and I wouldn't really recommend trying to fix it because it happens once so rarely. And it's also kind of fine, it really doesn't make that big of a difference. So broadcast dis uh, destroy zombie and wait. And after this, we will be changing the score by one. So change score by one and uh, we will delete this clone. So uh, delete that bullet clone right there. And that also reminds me to delete the bullet clone after we touch the edge. Now I'm going to have another condition or another if then. And this time I will be checking if sprite movement is equal to no. And uh, if you remember, we set up sprite movement in our Starfighter sprite a lot earlier. So just put that right there. So if sprite movement equal no, then we will delete this clone. And that is pretty much all you will need within your uh, bullet sprite as you know, within this when I start as a clone block. Now we can do a bit of code with our zombies and we, I think we will have to resize this. I'm not too sure about that, um, but I'm gonna start off the code with when I receive initialize. So when we do receive initialize, we will be using the create um, clones block or the create clones variable right here. Uh, but we set that up in bullets in the starting when we receive the initialize message. So that won't be required for now. So what I'll be doing is hide uh, and we don't really have to go to any particular position and collision will also not be detected. Uh, so after this, I'm going to say set, um, not set, delete this clone. So delete all the clones that are there. I'm also going to do two more things and that is to create a new variable first, which is going to be called speed. And this is going to be the speed of this zombie. So set it for the sprite only and then click OK. And here I'll be saying set speed to level. So as the level goes higher and higher, the speed will also go higher and higher. So set speed to level. And after this, we will also need to set rotation style to be do not rotate. Otherwise we'll have some really, really weird animations that are going to be going on. So instead of set rota uh, rotation style to be left to right, set it to be don't rotate. And I'll be ending with this video right here. We didn't really code too much into the game, but we had some considerable progress, such as finishing up with like 99% of our bullet and also doing a little bit with our zombie sprite and we finished the Starfighter, so I would consider that an achievement. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.